What's up people? Today I'm going to talk about casting in hacks or um, converting types. So I've created a simple file here which has a class called casting, it has a constructor and has a simple method called test. I've also changed the main hacks method to create a new instance of um, this, this class and run the simple test method. So yeah, this video is essentially going to be talking about changing um, converting types, so changing from one type to another. If you haven't watched your previous video on types, I recommend you do that first because it will make this one make more sense. Um, so there are obviously simple ways to convert types. So let's say I have a um, string here called one, well actually which actually has number one, and I'm going to convert that to an int. Hacks provides great libraries for that, so um, one called standard library and you can do something like um, pass int I can put that method in there and let's actually return that if I then run um, to build it you'll see it return the number as um, as an integer similarly I could do the same to floats so path that should also be string um, 1.5 and I'll also do pass float. Put half in there. And that will convert that into a float. Um, I could also convert um, one else square to. I could also convert a um, float into an integer. I don't know how that works. Yeah. I think I could do an int to a float. Can I do that? Yes, I can do it. I can do a float to an int. So I can do a float. Like so. Um, and I can do int pass a float into it. I don't know what that's actually going to convert to. Okay, so it kind of rounds it down. Yeah, and there's great documentation for that on the Hacks website. But one thing that isn't spoken a lot about um, in, in the world of Hacks or in the documentation is the cast keyword. And you won't see it used that much, but um, it's, it's helpful in rare situations. So um, let's say I make a method to return a string and this method takes in a special argument which I haven't yet made a class for yet, um, sorry, made a type for and what I'm going to do is say my name is, actually before I do that let's make a few variables so name, special argument name And age, special argument age. This will be an int, and this will be a float. No, this will be a string. Right. So my name is name, and my age is age. Okay. This is known as string interpolation. I haven't talked about it yet, but this is how you do it. <laughs> um, okay. So now let's make this special type. So let's go to here. Type def i of t special arg, and this will contain basically a name which will be a string and an age which is an int. Right, so as you can see, this method here will only take in an argument with a specific type, it will only return a string. And if I were to run it uh, with anything other than what I've set, so um, say I were to do uh, name is a string, test and um, don't, add, don't add an age, you can break it. If I were to do age as a <coughs> float, that will break. So you have to set it, um, has to be set with the type that I'm using. But let's say this method here is an external method, so a library has, has come out. Um, I want to use this method of the library. I can't have access to the source meth method because obviously you shouldn't edit the source of the library unless you really, really want to, but you shouldn't. Um, but I want I really want to have a float because I want to represent my age as, as 1.5 or 2.5. Um, so how would I do that? So that is where the cast keyword comes in helpful. So what I could do is say, um, 
let's say, um, sorry, non special argument or normal argument. And my normal argument will have a, like I said, uh, name, Alex, that's not my name, but let's go with it. And age is 1.5. Okay. So I want to use this argument in this method. And what I can do is say, um, let's run this method with my argument. And obviously it will break because they don't match. The types are incorrect. But what I can do is I can convert this type. Um, cast it normal argument. And say cast. And what I want it to be is I want to grab this here and tell the compiler to treat this as uh, this here. Okay. And when I pass this into there, um, oh, I've made a mistake. Class must be class, okay. Um, so I think I can't have it inside a constructor. So let's move all of this out to my main. Okay. So now let's put that inside here. Mm. No, I do not want Siri. Let's put that. Um, okay. So now if I was to pass this in here, it will work. If I was to run this file, you'll see it's got my age is 1.5. So even though this argument requires an int, I've kind of told the compiler to treat this float as an int, let it let it pass let, uh, let it run this argument similarly if i if i want to get rid of this i can still tell this um compiler to to run it as a, as a float and it'll give me an undefined so if you really want to run it without the specific arguments you can do that um, by using this cast keyword so yeah i hope you found that video helpful even though i was fumbling about a lot um, as usual, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.